figured I'd bring you in with the game pause because I'm loving the fact that the uh, particles are just doing a jiggle. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving the jiggle particles right now. <laughs> I, I know that I make fun of the game a lot, it's because it just keep doing silly things like this. Put some pause and let that go on. Uh, we are going to be grabbing uh, of the, yes, the John Deere. Lama King, hello, and farm life as well. Kieran, Irish farmer. Chris, how are you now? Liam, as well, and me. Hello, me. <laughs> Hello, Spud Pewter Dave. <laughs> you take the New Holland? <laughs> Spud, Pewter, <laughs> Spud Pewter Dave says, Hello, Big Dave. <laughs> uh, I probably shouldn't talk to myself during the streams because it's, it's a bit weird. Uh, Hello, Spud Man. How are you doing today? How's everybody doing today? It's Tuesday apparently. I thought today was Monday. I was downstairs earlier doing some dishes. It was like to my mother. Hey, when's the bin going out tonight? Because Monday's bin night. I was like, and she just looked at me and said, went out last night. Ah. Oh. Because I've got rubbish that I need to throw away and I need to put it in the bin. And the bin went out last night. And I don't like putting stuff in the bin the day after it's gone out because I tend to have a lot of rubbish. Um, keep talking to myself. Well, that's what YouTube is, really, isn't it, Farm Life? It's just you talking to yourself. Or occasionally writing 6,000 word scripts overnight when you should be sleeping. But losing track of time and writing a 6,000 word essay. Uh, hello, Witchy. On a related note, I may or may not have got distracted last night and wrote a 6,000 word essay. Um... <laughs> It isn't. It is intended for use on the channel, by the way. It's the cattle and crops script rewrite that has just ballooned out of control, um, and is going to probably involve quite a lot of editing audio down. Hello, AC. And CD as well. Hello. You didn't send me any pictures last night, did you? Because I can't remember. I think you may have. A lot of beeps. What? No pigs last night. Oh, good. I'm, uh, I'm losing track of reality, so I don't know what day is what anymore. So, just, just deal with me being weird. Kind of crops. Um, no beeps. Which is why I'm writing a script. Uh, it's gonna, I'm probably going to need to cut quite large portions of it out just for uh, the sake of time. Excuse me, I told you to lift. Thank you. Wednesday is tomorrow, today is Tuesday. Yes, I know that now. Hello, Carturix. I may require your help later this week. Because um, I want to change maps on the server, and that involves like two hours of setup, probably a bit more. So I might uh, try and grab you for a bit to uh, set the server up uh, and set the map up. It's looking, seeing as there's no link to Sutton anymore, because the Dropbox was deactivated last night due to uh, seemingly WBF doing something he shouldn't have done. Um, which I'm not going to say what it was. I'm alleging, using a logic G29. Uh, no, it's a G27. What did I think of the match on Saturday? It was a crap match, frankly. <laughs> Atmosphere was great. Match, not so much. Um, which was a bit of a shame. But, um, yeah, it's always nice to see Monster win. What match? The match that I went to. The reason that I didn't stream on Saturday. It's 
the one time where I actually know what match people are trying to refer to, because you usually don't know about match. Was there a sports? Rogue is one of the few sports that I find watchable, because it's actual men. It, well, it's, it, it's gentlemen playing a thug's game. Whereas, uh, football tends to be thugs playing a gentleman's game. That was... It was terrible from both teams' point of view, I mean... Uh, I did see the mods that went up today, Chris. Not, not, not much interest in either of them from me. Um, the leap pair I would have liked to see in from the start, but oh well. Uh, the Valtras just strikes me as a bit pointless, really. <laughs> the same, the same opinion I had on that from seventeen is just, it's a bit, a bit pointless, really. It's. It's a fast boy, but why? Why would you want that on a farm? So we are frustratingly doing some planning. It's good for long draws of silage. <laughs> Good for the server. No, I I'm not gonna trust you guys with a Valdra that can do something like 80 miles an hour or something stupid like that. I'm not gonna trust you guys with that. I barely truck you, trust you guys with the trucks. You like plowing in real life, not in farm sim, you use the T8. Yeah, I'm thinking... And I'm gonna take your guys' opinions on board here. I'm thinking of turning off forced plowing on this map because it's just... It's just too big for it. It's too big to have forced plowing on. Considering I've got, you know, a 6 hour with a... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 for a plow? 9 for a plow. However many for a plow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for a plow. And I've got a quad track on the culti plow in the other field. It's just a bit, bit uh, taking a bit long, isn't it? Buy a larger plow, use my maths. This is the biggest plow that the 6R can actually handle. Buy a subsoiler. Uh, there's a quad track in the other field with the subsoiler. That's the problem. Just turn it off. I, I, I'm thinking of just turning it off and using a massive cultivator instead. Because, um, like, this is the third stream in a row where I've just been doing kind of plowing and groundwork, and it's getting a bit old now. Six hour can handle 300 horse. This is true. However, I'm probably wrong here in saying this. I think think this is the biggest plow it can run? Yes, yes it is! Because this requires exactly 300, the Salford needs 360, and the, the biggest one needs 550. This is literally the biggest plow it can handle. Salford's but any non-reversible is painful. So I'm thinking of uh, just turning off forced plowing on this map. I'll keep on lime and stuff, because lime and stuff is fun, but plowing not so much. Hey, Kirk. That's what they all used to be. Yes, but they all used to be pulled by horses as well, and you don't see that happening anymore, do you? Outside of ploughing matches and 
show farms. You play this field with the fire. Like it's enjoyable if you're. I'm not. It's enjoyable if you're doing it by yourself. If I was doing this by myself, I'd be out with the fire for him. Easy peasy. I'd be out with the fire for on a quite small tractor doing this. Possibly even the armor track. Um. But in terms of like YouTube, <laughs> it's a bit getting old. I would only play, of course, they existed. No, I enjoy plowing. It's just that I don't think it's making for good content. Can't wait for a mod map on Xbox. Yeah! Kinda of surprised that... Well, I'm kinda of surprised that number one, the two mods that came out today were both Giants mods. Um, which is slightly frustrating. Um, no third party mods today. And number two, there wasn't a map. Not never track you with a seven two four. I mean that's good too. <laughs> I ju I just have this weird infatuation with the armor track. Which uh, spoiler alert, Meadow Grove. Hey, I'm I might actually start. I actually blah, 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 might actually use the starter equipment on Meadow Grove because it's pretty much what I was going to use. Um. Save for the uh, forage wagon, which is too big for the map, I think. Is it the bolt on aircon? It's just the silliness of the entire thing. Like, I think it's a very pretty tractor as well. It's a pretty tractor. It kind of goes above and beyond what it should be able to do for the size. And it looks ridiculous. At times. Like the bolt on air conditioning unit. <laughs> You know, that, that's silly. And I like that. The sillier something is, the more likely it is that I'm going to enjoy it. So I think we're going to finish this field, get the call to play finished in the other field. We're going to immediately seed this field, by the way. Um... And I think I think we're gonna just call it a day with the whole idea of having forced plowing on. Farm life. Farm life. Shush. A few placeable mods would be great on console. I don't know. I mean, the problem is, is the the placeable system is a bit wonky. It's a bit banjaxed. <laughs> I know I know that I contradict myself farm life that's kind of the, my entire existence is I'm contradictory uh, hey Dima that's time you checked 206 mods in testing yeah it was 208 I think it was yesterday let me check the topic real quick uh topic please 206. Uh, that's from yesterday, so yeah. I think Giants are a bit snowed under, because Lars Lizardtown's really, uh, being slow on the updates. Can't use the landscaping on farm sim, very frustrating. It takes time! Very similar to how GE works. In terms of the way that the, the brushes work, so... If you've got a bit of experience with GE, the landscaping suddenly becomes a lot easier. Because you learn very quickly that... Giants editor, farm life. It's what you use to make maps. You learn very quickly that, um, yeah, baby steps is, is the best way to do any sort of terrain edit, even in, you know, whether it's in game or in G, you're best off doing it slowly and sometimes knocking a large chunk smoothing, knocking a large chunk smoothing, and you can get what you want, and event what you want eventually, but it takes a while. Just next boss to play. Yeah, dude, trust me. It's the exact same, like, for map makers, it's the exact same problems. Um, plow category is spelled plow. Yes, it's got the American spelling. Um, of plow. Which is, uh, funny for, like, European, for, I guess, the UK. But it is correct spelling, technically.
You just use a smooth of placing shed and then paint it. That's pretty much what I do as well. Although sometimes I will like do a bit more than just that. I think in um, that area there I did have to do a small bit more than just smooth and paint. Because there were some areas that were really wonky and I just put in giant chunks and, and smoothed them out. Uh, but you, you learn over time how the terrain brush really works. So don't just give up on the, uh, the terraform. I d yeah, the new placeables need a bit more work. It's not ideal. Smooth and paint is all you can master. You can master more than that, and I, I, I firmly believe that. Wonder in the foliage brush. I hope that's soon, Adam. I also hope um, that you can put down the the uh, bushes with the foliage brush. Um, but not crops. I don't want to be able to put down crops. I want to be able to put down grass and bushes because they'd be the two things that uh, I'd be putting down the most, and that I really want to be able to put down because, like, you you grass up an area and then it's just this grassy area, and you can like then I throw in a few bush bushes just to kind of give it a bit of character. Um, because I don't like big plain areas. They annoy me. Hey Jack, how's things? Things good. What about plowed texture? Uh, no. I wouldn't want that. I, I'd literally just want the ability to put down grass and the ability to put down bushes. Um, the paintable bushes that giants are using now. Like, that would be perfect for what I want. Um, maybe like weeds as well or, or like some flowers and stuff. Just to, again, just to break it up. Um, but I don't want to be able to, like, cheat in a buttload of crops. I want to, I want to be able to prettify, but not cheat. Make a garden for the house. That's what you could do, exactly. If it lets you paint in close enough, you could, like, make a garden for the house with some bushes and... You know, flower patch and stuff like that, and that'd be really cool. And that would be kind of exactly what I'd love to do with it. Um, but I know there's other people that just want to be able to plant that to, like, plop down fully grown wheat because hey, that saves on ninety percent of the work in the game. Could you put down crops with creator tools? You could, but that, that was more of a testing thing. And actually, there was a really good use for that crop placement tool was to check where the field depths were, because it worked off field definitions. Ron Mormon will be virtually real life. I kind of hope that Profi Hopper makes a return. I'm gonna be honest. I know that I've got a vendetta against converts up from FS13, but the Profi Hopper gets an exception because I love the Profi Hopper because it's really bloody useful. It's got multiple, 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 multiple uses, not just like as a lawnmower. It's also a sheep feeder, and potentially also a cow feeder. Um, and a very, very small silage machine, if you're stupid enough to do that. Which I was back in FS13. What about the Crasshopper? No. That one was just silly. That was a fun mod, but silly. Um, I, I genuinely prefer, like, Profi Hoppers and just actual real-life write-ons. Um... Kind of sad that Giants didn't put in a John Deere ride on lawnmower in the game. Because that would have been a nice touch, because then, like, you could... Reasons that I would use, like, a, a lawnmower. Go around the edge of the field, just clean it up. Little Husqvarna would be nice as well, yeah. But, like, go... Be, I, I just want to kind of be able to go around the edge of the field and clean them up without having to bring a tractor out. Um... Or clean up the yard without needing to bring out a tractor and a huge mower. Just want a sm you know, small thing that I can fit through the yard and, and be able to just mow it up and clean it up and make it look nicer. Need John Deere cotton harvester and forager. I don't think they need the, the John Deere um, cotton harvester. I know there's a lot of people that think they do, but I, I don't know. Because that would involve more like physics being created for the round modules. Um, as for the forager, yeah, I'd like to see an 8600i. It's my favorite tractor in FS19. I've gotta say, it's probably the armor track. 
um, in the base game. It's probably the armor track. I love me John Deere. Well, I actually do like John Deere now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna complain. I actually do like John Deere. I make fun of it a lot, but I do like it. I love the John Deeres that are in the game. I love, love, love the New Hollands. Uh, the fence, the Masseys, the cases, the Valtras. But the armor track. Oh my god, that is so good. The feet is crap though. The feet is the one tractor that I just actively don't like. John Deere Cotton Harvester is a better module? No, it doesn't. It's got round modules. They actually... Genuine, actual, true fact. Um, the round modules that John Deere creates have to be broken down in... Um... Gonna be a Grimmer DLC? There should be, actually, James, because FSI team said that they had got permission to put their mod contests DLC off till 19. That's a good point! There should be a Grimma DLC at some point. Was Quad Track or was it Clickbait? It's over there. It's over in the next field over. Uh, that's on the Cold to Plow and the hired worker is actually able to handle it so I'm allowing the hired worker to do some actual hired work. Um, well, I faff about with John Deere. Don't I think Ropa was just a copy of Grimma? Well, no, because they're both real companies. Um, and Ropa and Grimma do have similar designs as to do Holmer because, as a fun little fact, they're designs that are efficient and work. Can FSI have licensing problems? I don't know exactly what the problems FSI had were. The rumor was it was licensing problems, but I could be wrong. Did they have to put it through the mod contest again? No, they got permission from Giants, James. That's the thing, they got permission from Giants and I think Grimma. Assuming the issue wasn't a licensing issue. Seems like they just retextured it. No, there's differences. There are legitimate differences. Because I compared the two when uh, Ropa came out and there are um, differences in design that kind of distinguish the two. They look similar at a glance, but if you look into the details, they are uh, quite different. Uh, but I, I, there should, yeah, should be a Grimma DLC at some point, hopefully. Two DLCs. Well, the Grimma DLC would be the Mod Contest DLC, which would probably mean it's going to be PC only, like Mad XGS's was. Um, I'm at my playing Sutton. There's no actual link for it at the moment, unless you go onto the really dodgy sites and look look it up. Because um, it got taken down off FSUK and the Dropbox links link I was giving out uh, apparently was wasn't very good. Um, apparently there was uh, something not great about that, which I'm not going to discuss. Witchy, in, in re response to the question you asked in the admin room yesterday, if you're still here, that was the same link that I was given last week. Um, to just the, like, more PG version of the map. Um, so if he did what you're claiming he did, that's on him. That's all on him, that's nothing to do with me linking it or Yanis linking it, that's... 100% on him being fooled. Just uploading directly to the same file. Um, but we are finishing the plowing now. Apart from the stuff that we're gonna have to do with the cold plow just to clean things up later on, but we're finishing the plowing at long last. For now. Um, but I will need to do some cleaning up with the cult plow. Anything new? There are new mods today. There's uh, the super fast Voltra, the fast boy, and the. Um, oi, fold you get. Oh, you gotta be. You gotta face the other way so you can fold. Okay. Get. Fold. There you go. Uh, there was the super fast Valtra and the Lee pair front loader or wheel loader. Is Valtra for console? I have no idea. Check on your console. Don't ask me things that I don't know. 
I only play PC, I don't know what mods are on console. Seems like giants are overwhelmed at the moment. I think so, yeah. They got their fingers in a lot of pies at the moment, and uh... Let's plant some canola. You can't, your brother's playing Fortnite. Go on the website and see what it says beside or underneath the vulture. Um, I just check to see what's out. I don't check what it's on. The vulture is on console. Here you go, farm life. Tell me the issue with the BGA. That's interesting. I don't know what that issue actually is. A future reference, you can just check the website and it'll tell you if it's on console or not. It's a really nice thing they do. But map, it's on this map. Farm life. There's some sort of weird issue Bradley's having with the... Have you tried the new game? Works at certain times, but that's it. That's really... I don't know what that could be. Where's my phone? Where's my I'll send a message in the admin chat and Discord real quick. Is there two points to sell by XMLs on the map that happened to you? Ooh, that could be a thing, JD. Save might have corrupted slightly. Also, any mods that are uh, in and about, check the admin channel on Discord, please. Still playing Estancia 46 hours in, you love it? Yeah, I'm kind of annoyed that the, uh, the Estancia series didn't do very well, because I was enjoying that map, and the idea that I had going on it. It's annoying when you got 170,000 liters of, there's that one, yeah, 170,000 liters of size to sell, yeah, I can imagine. John Deere Fent, uh, whichever one I'm driving at any given time or in Agri, I'm I'm not one of these guys who's like, oh, this is the best brand in the world ever. Like, honestly, like if I was to choose a, a brand based and uh, would base be a base color on color alone, it'd be class because I really like the lime green and white color scheme. I just, I just like the class color scheme. It, it, it relaxes me for some reason. Never even downloaded a stance. You should have in 74. It's a lot better than it was in 17. And 17 was a bit of a hot mess. And 19, it, it just seems to... There's not many changes been made to it, but it just seems to work better. As a map. Your mage playing FS19 multiplayer, Xbox One. Very nice, Kirk. It kind of sucks that I don't don't really get up to silly hours on maps anymore, but at the same time it's good because I get a nice bit of variety and it's a lot harder to burn out if you're constantly changing maps. Um, 
was redesigned for 19. It was. Um, simple fact of the matter is, uh, uh, Yanis, yeah, for now at least. Um, I know, by the way, that Yanis's message wasn't in chat, it was in Discord, and I'm just replying cause, uh, to the stream because it's easier. Your controller is broken as well. Oh, damn. At least you could probably buy a new one. My bank account is still uh, a bit too empty because YouTube hasn't paid out yet. Uh, although the, I did get the email that they have paid out. So it should be in my bank account in the next few days. Apparently modding a 19 is awful. Um, according to who, Fergal? Because CD is frustrated by how complicated things are and having to learn stuff again. But um, he's really enjoying it. What am I seeding? Uh, I thought this was canola. This is oats. I think. Yeah, I'm seeding oats. This was meant to be canola, but we're seeding oats! Because I screwed up. <laughs> I forgot oats were a thing, slightly. Your bank account is too, yeah. Just one of those periods where everybody's bank account is empty because it's after Christmas and... <laughs> Dave screwed up! What a shock horror! That's never happened before. Oh well. We have a nice big field of oats. Um, which I guess is good. I'm kind of with you there, JD. Like new modders don't know what the old, what the older guys had to do in the past, so they kind of get a bit more of an advantage with the learning curve in that they don't need to learn stuff that they don't have to forget. But um, <laughs> there we go. Word from CD himself. Hello, Eddie. I think the people that are saying, oh, modding is crap in 19 are the same people who are saying, oh, 19 in general is crap. And who just don't, for whatever reason, want to crap on the game. Um, I'm sure mapping is slightly more difficult because there's a lot more moving parts in a map now. But at the same time, you know, you can still, for the most part, make maps the way he used to. But yeah, Bill's one of these people who, for whatever reason, and I haven't figured out why, is just really, really unhappy with 19 and just crapping on the game. For various reasons. His reasons keep on changing as well. It's just frustrating. I'd love to be just sit him down one day and just talk to him and say, Dude, what is your problem with 19? Because from a player's perspective, for the most part, it's way better. Each their own, yeah. But I'd love to sit some of these guys that are just dumping on the game down and say, okay, what is the big issue? Is there something that I could bring to Giants and say, okay, look, I've spoken to people who are unimpressed at 19, Here's their big complaint. Could this be worked on? Like, that'd be... That's what I think... Would be nice, but it's not gonna happen. Watching videos on map making might give it a go. Give me your mind, you're gonna try and work on... 1174, check out Chai Wizard. Who's probably going to appear now because I mentioned his name. Uh, check out Shy Wizard. He is an absolute mapping guru. Every, every time a new game is released, it's miles better than the last one. 
And every time a game is released, people jump on it for some reason. And it's getting old now. That's what you've been watching. Very good. You're learning from, uh, I would argue, one of the best. Definitely the best for, like, modern stuff. There was always, uh, I've forgotten his name now. Was it Farmer Andy used to, is the old, the, um, the older mapping guru. There was a guy that had, like, mapping tutorials that were older. Um, but Shy Wizard's definitely the guy to watch for the more modern stuff and, and, and definitely for learning 19 modding. That'd be cool, CD. But, um, it'd probably be re it'd probably overcomplicate things and you'd see a lot of vehicle modders screaming about things being too complicated. <laughs> How many maps are there in existence of Shy Wizard? I don't know maps... I don't know maps fully, but I would definitely say like improvements to maps. Would a lot of them would um, be down to shy. Um, one or two actually down to me somehow, <laughs> uh, which is bleh. Uh, CD, I can tell you exactly why. Um, it is down to console keybinds. Uh, they have run out of keybinds for console, and Giants don't want to have something on the PC version that's not on the console version that is a major feature. Um, which is why, like, some features have disappeared for 19, um, and some have, like, re like, playing with the controller, there's some really weird keybindings. And what, it's also why like console don't have the, uh, hazard lights. Why not add an old fault retractor using X to open the door? Because then you'd see people who have X to do everything and the tractor falls apart. <laughs> I I can foresee what the fools will do. Press X to collapse. And the, just the wheels come off and the tractor falls apart. And then it never comes back together because everything's too far away because they've added physics to everything. And the wheels are over the other side of the map. Some games just should not be on console. I do agree with you there, Rob, but Farm Sim isn't one of them. Farm Sim is fine on console. Euro Truck is one that just can't come to console. Just physically cannot come to console. There's too many key bindings in Euro Truck. You went in a swing. Good for you, Eddie. I only see the funny stuff. That's. It shows you how my mind works. It's like I can see the dumbest thing that somebody could possibly do, and I know for a fact somebody's gonna do it. You're really missing Follow Me. That'd be nice to have in. I'm hoping somebody brings it up soon. Um, for me, though, it's GPS that I'm missing. I'm hope I, I really hope Opster gets that out fairly soon. Um, you know, I hope he's making good progress. I hope he's actually submitted it already. That'd be nice. Press X to turn tractor into suitcase. <laughs> Press X for stupidly slow flying Hitman suitcase. How does GPS work? Uh, the way that it used to work was it used the... Um, basically some in-game stuff. It, it hacked some in-game stuff to work differently and just made the tractor drive in a straight line. New GPS, so Upstress GPS is based on AB lines, which is much more interesting. Press X for Transformers music. GPS is definitely de GPS is needed on any British map. I'm just gonna just say that straight out. Any British map, Marwell, this map, uh, Meadowgrove maybe not so much because the fields are tiny. But like any British map with decently sized fields, you need GPS. It just makes life easier. Hey, Twin Cam. Do you do dumb things? Yes. By the way, if you're new, I, I just make fun of Eddie because he's a friend of mine and it's easy and fun. Um, we should put objects in the tractor car. That'd be nice. This is a 1050, yes it is. When they try, when they did try Gearbox for 19, how did it work with the key bindings? Um, 
very easily at him. It, would, it was going to be automatic. Um, that was the plan, was the gearbox was going to be automatic, and I think either they couldn't get it to work properly, or they just ran out of time and, and gave up on the project just because time. Um, hey, Jack. How's it going? It's going good. How's it going with you, dude? But, um, yeah, Gearbox got abandoned annoyingly. I hope somebody, like, figures out how to get that working. It'd be awesome to have um, some sort of, like, automatic, dynamic working gearbox in the game. Um, Dave is famous for doing stupid things for the episode ahead of it. This is true! Okay, good to hear, Jack. Good to hear. Auto steer? I don't need auto steer. Gearbox is fun in 17. I don't know if we particularly need the full gearbox. Like, it'd be nice, but it wasn't a mod for me, personally. Some of those mods where I'm like, I don't like it, but I see why people do. But it's just not for me. I'm taking the long way around. It's made it on mistake. If a gearbox mod was made, would it be a script? Odds are yes, but that doesn't necessarily mean the giants wouldn't be like stunned by it and want it in the game immediately and pull a seasons. Because bear in mind, giants did rewrite bits of the game for seasons back in seventeen. Hey, shy. <laughs> I may have got the Fent a tad bit stuck here. Right, how am I gonna... Oh, I'm just gonna... I know what I'm gonna do. Nope, that didn't work. Season there for 19, not yet. But, uh... I can say by looking through the game files on PC, it'll probably be on console because there's some stuff hidden in there already. There's some stuff pre-prepared. Including snow masks. Oh, was it Farmer Yip was the guy who was from Tutorials? Oh, Farmer Andy's the script dude. That's how I got mistake. The season's coming back to 19, yes. Hey, getting into this shit. <laughs> this is the worst shit in the world. It is atrocious to try and navigate. I maybe should move the baler out of here, because that seems to be causing the biggest problem for me right now. Should we fill the seeds and get over to El Quadrac? El Traco Quadro. So we need to uh, finish this field up with the Cult Plow. Just climb the wall, why not? Exactly. And that, kids, is why walls don't work. Have fun getting out of the shed. It'll be a lot easier getting out than it was getting in. Especially seeing as I went in the really awkward way that I really shouldn't have. Cut play out, joke real. Real! Real item! Everything in the game is either a real item or based on one. I'm out of my talents. What'll win? <laughs> what wins? One solid corrugated steel shed. Or one fat Irish boy. It is a sub. It's actually um, farm life. It's a deep furrow plow with a, a cultivator, uh, a disc cultivator on the back. So it is a subsoiler technically, but it is all it all. Yeah. 
All subsoilers are ploughs, but not all ploughs are subsoilers. But this is a real piece of equipment and it does do roughly this in real life. Um, in actuality, it just kind of deep cultivates. Uh, it doesn't necessarily leave like, like cultivated marks like this, but it just does deep cultivation. Cool if you could set a height. An AB line, have a hard worker follow. That'd be cool too, yeah. How's it going, hello Nathan? Going good, how about you? How's, I, I didn't download the new, well, the newish version of Metagrow from the other day, but didn't download that to have a look. But, uh, how is it going? How's progress? So I'm thinking of getting some cows, and I'm noticing, as I'm kind of going through the map, this area here is really nice for putting some cows in. We won't drag that around much with uh, this year. Yeah. Plowing at this time of year is going to be fun. Because you can start in a perfectly good field and end up in a mud bath. Do you plow this instead of a normal plow? Yeah, absolutely. You wouldn't do it every year with um, a deep cultivator. Or a deep plow like this. This would be maybe be... And I know some farms do like general plowing only once a year. But this would be something that if you plow every year, you'd do this maybe once every five to ten years. Is some uh, deep cultivation just to kind of get some deep compaction sorted. Hopefully they'll start stop finding them soon. Hopefully. Hey, it's Amir again. This is also actually Farm Life just kind of pointed it out to me and reminded me. This is also used to help with drainage on fields. Because sometimes drainage problems are caused by um, deep level compaction. And uh, using something like this would kind of reduce that a bit. Bear in mind that I'm not a farmer. Four years. Yeah, JD. I, I, I'm, I'm maybe not exactly right with what, the way I said this works. Or how often you'd use it or, or something like that. But I'm at least along the right lines in that, you know, you'd use it periodically, not every year, not every season. Just to get some of the deeper stuff. Um, the deep level compaction sorted. To help with drainage, to help with... Um, actually crops growing, because sometimes, like, most of the time you'd work the... I think the deepest plow that generally is used is a 12 inch. And these can be down to two feet. Um, it just helps the... Um, the crops actually grow decent uh, root networks as well. But it's not something you'd use every year, because it, it in real life it like you'd do this much slower than you know 10 11 kph would be three maybe four maybe even five do you think farms would be better if there's a mod that made it like spin tires if it rained you mean dynamic terrain it would be i'm not gonna lie it would definitely be better with dynamic terrain um the problem with dynamic terrain and i've, I've spoken to giants about this a few times uh both in their discord and and over when I was with them. Uh, dynamic terrain is a hot mess. <laughs> Did I do egg science for leaving No. This is just stuff that I've learned by playing farm sim and watching farming videos. Um, I'm the kind of person who, if I don't know something, I'll usually research it. Or, like, ask somebody who does know. I'm not the kind of person who just stays, stays like, uneducated on stuff. I... I I'm from a science background, I like educating myself, I like learning. It makes life interesting if you, if you know many things about many things. Um, but I spoke to Giants about Dynamic Terrain a few times, and uh, the simple way of putting it is... Dynamic Terrain in a game like Farm Sim, where there's already a lot of moving parts, hence, you know, synchronizing in multiplayer games, um, 
adds the entire map as a moving part, which is not good. Um, and in multiplayer, it would cause literally every sync to be like five minutes because they'd have to sync up every single centimeter of the ground uh, on a two by two kilometer map. Um, or four square kilometer map. Giants should come to Ireland for the planning championships to promote the game there. I was going to jokingly suggest that to Giants do like an FSC at the planning. I thought, actually, no, that'd be really mean if they show up with like a full studio and stuff and all the stuff for an indoor thing and then they find out it's out in a field somewhere in Wexford. <laughs> Um, but I might mention it to Giants. I got you there, yeah. Giants are working on it though, Barney. Um, it is something the Giants are, are working on, trying to figure out um, how to make it work. Any idea on FS3 Mobile? It'll probably come out towards September, October of this year. Um, it'll probably have a lot of the same features as Farms and PC. Maybe in 20 years and we all have that fast intro. Well, the the secondary problem, JD, is it would just cause the game to be a lag fest as well. Look at, um... Look at Cattle and Crops, the way that that performs with dynamic terrain. And that's only, like, the dynamic terrain in Cattle and Crops is only in the fields. If Giants were to do it, it would be literally everywhere. It would be, like, full, true dynamic terrain everywhere. Every different, um, ground type would have different responses, different ways that it sank, different methods and stuff so giants are the kind of company um, I actually prefer reading Rob so I don't generally YouTube things I generally like look up primary sources and stuff um, um, Giants aren't a company that'll just throw something in for the sake of it. They want it to be, especially something as big as Dynamic Train, they they'll want it to be completely integrated. For those of you that might be wondering, I am going to finish up at about 7 o'clock when Landy goes live, uh, as per usual. So i just throw a few ads at you guys. Hopefully something to say. Uh, they'd have to add all wheel drive and lift setup in. Not necessarily. Maybe the next train just on single player. That might work, Thomas. But again, you'd have the uh, optimization issues. Which, honestly, are probably the bigger issue right now. Um, you saw an FS20 trailer, it was just the 19 trailer. FS20 is going to be very similar to FS19. The mobile game tends to follow whatever game came immediately previously, so. I wouldn't be too surprised if they use a similar trailer for FS20. That said, there's nothing official out about FS20 yet, so... Um... Yeah, yeah, people are gonna just straight up... tell you lies right now. Everything that I'm saying is guesswork. With regards to FS20. It's guesswork, speculation, and... based off... what's gone on in the past. Um, and odds are FS20 will be on Nintendo Switch. Gotta get some work done. See you, JD. With dynamic terrain, yeah, you'd need to optimize the crap out of it. Spin tires! <laughs> here's here's where learning helps. Spin tires works because spin tires is basically 90% dynamic terrain. There's no real gameplay other than that. I know there's the whole logging thing. When you think the logs are just kind of dynamic items that are placed in the back of the trucks. There's no real gameplay. There's nothing the game needs to particularly remember. In multiplayer, you know, the terrain is, is all client-side. Uh, has FS20 even been confirmed? No, it won't be until about June, July. Rob, so we're going off traditions here and guesswork. Um, the FS19 trailer for Gamescom that was actually a, a custom written song. It was based on a German pop song, but it was custom written for Farmson. 
Um, which is cool. I would actually love to have that song... Uh, the right to be able to play that song during streams, because I really like it. Which, by the way, shows that Farm Sim isn't just some random indie game anymore. It is really getting into the... The, the realms of AAA with custom written songs. <laughs> um, and you know, custom everything, so... Paramsim ain't some small game anymore. Hey, VF. Need some ACDC. I would love to play ACDC in the streams, but copyright would kill me. I was listening to the classic rock playlist on Spotify earlier today. <laughs> Doing the dishes with some classic rock play. I was singing along to uh, Queen and then the, the other classic rock songs. I think there was a Beatles song in there, which I was, didn't think Spotify had the Beatles. Um, actually, it was the Beatles because it was back in the USSR. How the hell did that happen? I thought Spotify didn't have the rights to the Beatles songs because Apple Music was weird. Not Apple Music for Apple the company, but Apple Music, the old music company that... Or the music label that the Beatles were with. I thought they didn't give the rights to Spotify. Uh, let's get rid of these two. Their job is done. And now we go to back, back, escape. And just because this map is the most frustrating thing known to man... Here, he is being turned off. Uh, I'll keep weeds on because that's fun. I think they got them a couple of years ago. I didn't know about this, so I was kind of listening to my classic rock, and then the Beatles came on. I was like, hey, hang on a second, that's back in the USSR. Oh, I'm going to have so much trouble coming out of this shed. Look at all the tr- Oh, wait, no, I'm out of the shed. Uh, I'm facing the wrong direction. Five Finger Death Punch is a really good remake of Bad Company. I don't really listen to Five Finger Death Punch all that much. I'm more of a Pantera fan, or... But generally speaking, Queen. I love Queen. Give me... I could listen to a Queen playlist all day. Popped up on Pandora. Fair enough. You really bad cold, sitting by the fire, watching me under a blanket, feeling much better. You're welcome. Come to think of it, I'm cold. Peter on, please. Also, heater full blast, please, because I turned it down last night because it was making some funny noises. Um, well, some funny smells, which... I don't know if I should really trust it being on, but I need it on. Um... Spin this round... Also, for anybody wondering about my legs, they're, uh... Finally coming back to be feeling like actual human legs and not just robotic pain inflictors. Um, still a tiny bit stiff, but I can actually walk normally again instead of doing some weird straight-legged uh, flat-footed walk, which is nice. The live stream I mean, last night on your go kart. Track welds broke, or track welds broke in the cup top gauge fell. And that's why you shouldn't tack weld things. You should, uh. I, I actually pro properly weld them on. Hey, Farmer Campion. What happened to my legs? I walked on Saturday and my legs did not appreciate that. My body generally does not like exercise. Um. Something I need to do today, because I learned this the hard way, is uh, change out the. A battery on my alarm because I had it set to go off at 9 o'clock this morning and instead of going off at 9 o'clock this morning it killed the battery um, which decidedly was not a good thing to happen
Come to think of it, let's set an alarm on my phone. Yes, yeah, and I was like, I'm doing that as we speak. Yeah, a proper welder. I've done some welding in the past, so. Uh, you don't need to be, like, a good welder to weld. You just need to know. Welding is sticking two pieces of metal together using. metal. What do Johns actually do while testing welds? That's something that I really should have asked them when I was in Germany. <laughs> how, do, how do alarm? Device features? Or advanced features? No. How do alarm? Sounds and vibration? No. Samsung? No. Google? No. How do alarm? You're earning 12. Notifications? No. It's probably somewhere bloody obvious on this and I just can't find it. Clock. Alarm! Haha! -ha! I've made quite a mess, haven't I? Oh, it's set for like half nine. Repeat literally every day. Uh, my ceiling's getting I'm sorry, Lama King, I'm doing something else at the same time. No, I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be called Turn On The Kettle. I don't know why it's called Turn On The Kettle. What phone have we got? Samsung something or other. Wakey, wakey. Lazy. Oh, can't fit the phone. That'll do. My, I'm not even paying attention, it's just doing the thing. Uh, alarm phone, about it. no, I want. That's not gonna wake me up. No. No. I can't even hear that. No. Is there anything that actually would work as an alarm? That would work as an alarm. Probably also my ringtone. Ooh, retime allowed. That'll definitely annoy me into waking up. Um. <laughs> I've made quite a mess. <laughs> set the I feel good song as an alarm that'll wake me I've set a, a ringing phone as an alarm so that I think that I'm getting a phone call and probably will answer my phone in the morning. <laughs> this proves that I, I can multitask. I was making art while setting up an alarm on my phone. Um, <laughs> this is why you shouldn't drive while on your phone. This, this is why setting up an alarm while seating is a bad idea. The funny thing is, for it, it wouldn't be like hello, hello, hello. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. <laughs> it, It'd be more just me making random grunts that may or may not sound like actual words. I used to have one on an old phone. It was a uh, Huawei, I think. Um, 
that uh, it was it was just an air horn, and that woke me up almost every morning. The birds come out of the ground. Uh, yes, the birds just randomly appear, and it's a bit annoying at times. It, it's quite silly. See, exactly, Jeremy, now you know what seating looks like when somebody is busy setting an alarm on their phone. Um... <laughs> That was uh, top-notch professionalism and quality content from Rainbow Dave, as always. Gets bored, forgets that his alarm isn't set on his phone, finds alarm app, sets phone, <laughs> sets alarm on phone midstream. Your dad can draw better than this on his Ohinwa. I'm sure he can draw better than that on his Ohinwa. Maybe not on his phone, but probably on his Ohinwa. <laughs> I don't know what the hell Nohinwa is. It's what happens when somebody doesn't know how to spell phone and makes a huge mistake, I guess. Um, um so, the, these are accidental oats we're seeding in this field. Um, accidental because this was supposed to be canola. <laughs> and I forgot what the logo for canola was. <laughs> Dave strikes again with the accidental crop. I do this far. I do this far too often. Where I'm like, I'm gonna seed this crop, and then seed something completely different. That whata happens when. <laughs> Electric power jolts. Yes, but more accidental. Um. No, don't stop with the ho Ohinwa. Ohinwa is Ohinwa is new god. <laughs> also, Yanis uh, and Yanis, check uh, Discord admin again. <laughs> All, all hair, all hair, Ohinwa! <laughs> CVF. So you did it? Ah! <laughs> no, no, it's all hair, Ohinwa, now, Bradley. You, you've already caused it. It's too late. It's too too late to go back now, Bradley. If you're enjoying your new God and Savior Ohinwa, please hit the subscribe and like buttons, uh, and they will give you one free Ohinwa. Um, <laughs> Dave is master of making new words. 
<laughs> hey Sean, how you doing today, dude? Hey MJ, how's it going? Oh, anyway, you just got an ad. Good. I pressed the ad button. It means ads are working again. I think YouTube broke things. I think YouTube broke ads on streams for a bit. I'm doing it, MJ. Do I have the radio on? No. No, the music you're hearing, Sean, is from Pretzel. And the music, the exact song you're hearing is right up there. Uh, apparently it's called He Way. Oh, it's The Ways, but the T blends in with the light blue. The Ways by a Lama Steel and Electrolyte. What is Ohinwa? Ohinwa is your new god. <laughs> if I had the radio on, it would be probably heavy metal you'd be hearing, not uh, high tempo EDM. I am I'm not a fan generally outside of streams of EDM. Uh, unless it's Chill House. Chill House gets a free pass, because I like Chill House. Chill House is chill. Is there heavy metal on press? There's a rock playlist, but it's crap. Which is why I don't listen to it. Plus, the heavy metal I listen to tends not to be very PG. Um... So yeah, that's kind of an added thing. If you're just joining, uh, a little bit of an update on what we've done today. We finished the plowing at long bloody last. Uh, the quad track has been returned to the shop because it was only a lease. And I've turned off forced plowing because, oh my god, is that painful. Um... Your hands smell like a swimming pool. Maybe you shouldn't have gone swimming, Eddie. Maybe you should have had a shower after going swimming, Eddie. That's, that's generally a good idea is to shower after swimming. To get the chlorine off you. Is I in on a console? <laughs> Most of yeah, most of my favorite songs, with the exception of like anything by Queen or Hold uh, for the most part. Um, most of my favorite songs are non-PG, but I love Bohemian Rhapsody. So, as an engineering student, swimming is very important. Yes, yeah, so, so is showering, Eddie. When is Ohinwa out on console? Do like Guns N' Roses? Yeah, GNR is pretty good. I just like rock from like the 70s to 90s. And early 2000s. When was actually... No, it's not. Don't lie, Farm Life. You created Ut. What is Ut? What is Ut and how do you do Ut? Do you eat Ut? Do you play with Ut? Er is it. Okay, if Er is it, then what is Ut? Life is complicated. Yes, this is very true.
What <laughs> is a... What is means a cat with no left eye and 13 legs? Hey, Stephen. Only back from hospital. Hope you're feeling better now, dude. Back to, back to Eddie's Robofish. <laughs> I get the feeling that this stream is just descending into absolute madness. Thank you very much for the uh, £1.50, by the way, MJ. Very much appreciate it. Every day that music just becomes more and more fitting for this stream. Um, it's snowing and meant to all night, and it's sticking, so hopefully no school tomorrow. Uh, it's actually uh, predicted to be a firestorm later to simulator gaming. I'm sorry, the snow is going to die. Um, it's about time for a stream to go mad, hasn't it? This is true. If our stream is not madness, then it's not a day of stream. This is true as well. Farm life, no. That's not, that's not how any of that works. Um. <laughs> Don't know what's going on anymore. Um, a quick update on the cattle and crops script thing that I've been working on, the video, the script for the video about cattle and crops. Um, I did a little bit of work on it last night and ended up writing four and a half thousand words. Uh, so I've now got a, well I wrote more than that yesterday, but I've now got a six thousand plus word script and I'm not finished yet. Yeah. In a typical Fortnite stream yesterday he said any donations under 50 pounds will not be read. He only has two case ups. Um, I will counter that in this stream, Reese. Uh, any donation that actually comes through will be read. Um, and probably made fun of. Uh, because that's how I work and I appreciate everybody who um, is willing to donate some of their hard-earned cash to me. Because there is absolutely no reason for you to do it. Because I'm a lunatic. And, uh, it's every little helps and it's all appreciated just as equally whether it's a pound or a hundred pounds is that what I have on discord? what do you mean James? oh is that what I have on discord? Um, the six thousand yeah the six page six thousand word novella that I'm writing about cattle and crops yeah that's what the pictures on discord were um, I actually did more after the 5,991 word mark last night. I think it's 6,024 words now, but I've not checked today. Because I quit writing at like 5 a.m. A script for it's a script for a video, um, which is going to be heavily edited. Because I think there's going to be about 20 minutes of me talking about finances, which isn't going to be particularly interesting. Is it negative stuff? Um. I mean, it's it's meant as a commentary, but it is kind of just by the very nature of the way Cannon Crops has gone, pretty negative. Um, it's kind of a people. Here's the thing: people either want like really really positive videos or really really negative videos. I I want to make a, a realistic look at. Um, the problems that face cattle and crops. And the issues that they need to deal with and, and the things they need to be aware of. I... The thing is it, it... I will need to compress it and it'll be compressed in um, editing afterwards. I'll just cut out bits that are boring. Um, like I don't mind reading for like three hours to get the video done and edit it down to... I'm going to show gameplay, but it's going to be kind of a background thing. <laughs> um, who is a micro nation in a garden shed and its leader is a nut? Okay. 
Uh, thing is, I want to do a realistic breakdown of cattle and crops and just kind of base where the game is in, 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 in reality as opposed to like people's opinions. And it is based on my opinions. Um, but I want to show the problems that they really need to deal with. And what they're, in my eyes, facing right now. Um, and as a result, the video looked like is going to come across as very negative. Hey, Rian. How you doing today? Oh, it's Cat and Crops. It's a game that's trying to take on farms, and it's a, another farming game. Um, the idea behind Cat and Crops is it's going to be a more realistic simulator for the, the hardcore realism guys. Um, they've done really well so far. Like, they've raised... Uh, 875,000 euro from crowdfunding and it's on Steam Early Access. You can buy it for 30 euro currently. It's not on Xbox, but I think they do have plans for console at some point. Um, you forgot Cattle and Crops is a thing. Yeah. The reason you forgot will actually be part of the video, Lama, because nobody can make videos on Cattle and Crops. Realistically, it's not something that suits YouTube at all. In any case, back to talking about farm sim because that's actually very po that's actually positive. What's my honest opinion, cattle crops? Um, it's got potential, but it's also got a lot of pitfalls, and it's <sighs> did some maths last night for the video, and it it really looks like they're. very much in the red. They're very much in a, fa in a financial hole and I don't know if they can get out of it. Um, and the maths I did was pretty conservative and very generous numbers um, in their favour. I think I worked it out that they possibly are at minimum 290,000 euro in debt. Uh, that's quite a lot of money to be just missing. And that, I'll say it again, was with very generous numbers that actually worked in their favour. Yeah. Well, sort of out for PC. They, they need to do a lot. Don't know if there, there will be. Um, see if I'm left. There will be an update to the map, but I think the edge will stay very much the same. Stu in the shed. Um, it's just an inherent problem when you work right up to the edge of the map. Do I think the, uh, I'll get the ground textures off FSK? Do you know I probably should, Alexander. The thing is, I don't like doing it um, because any maps that use default textures will then have those ground textures and if I do like a first look or something those textures will, be, will look like they're in the map by default um, and it, I, I don't think it'll be a fair showing to the map so what I might do is I might custom edit them into maps um, individual maps that I've been playing for a little while and not just put them into the game which I think would be, uh, be a bit of a better option Because then I get them in the maps, and the maps look pretty, but if I do a first look, I can still have the default textures if needs be. Um, same goes for, like, uh, Forgotten Fruits textures, which, granted, are on Mod Hoster, but they're textures, so fair game, in my eyes. Um, Mod Hoster's not something I'll use for mods generally, but textures, yeah. Am I going to play Metal Grove? Absolutely, Sam. Um... I've been very open about this. I'm going to play Metagrove. Uh, I have access to it right now. I could play it right now if I wanted to. Um, and I do want to. Thing is, I'm not going to. I'm going to hold off until um, the problems of, uh, not saying the map has problems. I'm going to hold off until the map's ready to be uploaded to Giants. Um, because there's no point in me starting it now and the map not 
even going to Giants for another month or so. Because all that'll happen is I'll get inundated with... When's the map coming out? Is it coming to console? When's the map coming out? Is it going to be out soon? Is it coming out tomorrow? When's the map coming out? Has it been... Has, is it with Giants yet? When's the map coming out? Is it coming to console? Is the map coming out on console tomorrow? When's the map coming out? I don't want that to be happening. Because <laughs> that irritates the crap out of me. So, um... And Landy, I think, is doing the same thing as... We're just kind of waiting because there's... We don't want to be irritated during streams. It's not fun. <laughs> um, so you'll find that, like, maps... You'll get less of a run-in with the... Pre-release content on them. Um... People are like the map, what can you do? Exactly, that's the problem, is Meadow Grove is such a good map that the inundation will begin straight away. Um, which is part of the reason that I don't want to play it right now. But if you could bolt maps to go, you can in theory, but it's a pain in the butt. Um, completely whiffed that, didn't I? There we go. Anyway, I'll, t I'll talk about Cattle Crops in detail once that video is out. Expect it in the next, like, th three to four weeks. Don't expect it for about two weeks' time. Because uh, I still need to finish the script. Landy's streaming Mario World 7. Well, I guess I can work on the script while Landy's streaming because I'm not, uh... I'm not going to be watching that stream. For those of you who think that I just hate Landy, no, it's because of Marvel. Uh, I don't want to see Marvel until I have it in my hands. Um, so, tough luck, Landy. You ain't gonna have me as a mod today. That hints that there's uh, some good stuff on the way, though. Sends a nice little hint to me, though, uh, which is nice. Um, so, yeah, I won't be in Landy's stream. You guys can head over there all you like. I won't be there. I'll be uh, chilling out, doing some stuff over here. Uh, probably actually working on the Cattle and Crops script. Red Smith Grove based. It's fictional. Or I just chat. No! <laughs> Tough luck, Landy! No, I've, uh, I've spoken to Landy a few times. He does the same thing. Uh, if we don't have a map, we generally don't watch it. Especially if it's, like, not out yet. Because um, we both enjoy playing maps the same way, and it's, the, like, the first experience being the setup and being completely lost, and it's kind of magical. And you guys don't generally get to see that. Um, and you probably won't with Marwo for me, because I want to set it up off-camera. Um, when I do set it up. Landy has spent an extensive amount of time setting that bloody map up, by the way. Landy has spent insane amounts of time setting Marwell up, so do watch his stream. I won't be there, I will watch him, I don't want to watch it. But I would actively encourage you, you guys, if you want to see Marwell, to go over and check it out. I don't right now. I don't want to see it until I get to see it on my own screen, because I know some stuff that I definitely don't want to see through YouTube compression. Um... <laughs> hey, Ken. I will, however, not continue my stream. Uh, I'll let you guys choose whether or not to watch Landy or, like, go watch something else, I guess. Um, Marwell, by the way, for me, will be the return of, uh, maybe not daily, but definitely... I, th that's what I'm gonna go watch, Janice, actually, is the 919 Pike Speak video. Um, but, uh... Yeah, Marwell is gonna be the return of videos for me. I don't know what format the video. It might be just a generic Let's Play, uh, but edited. But they'll be that'll be the return of kind of normal daily videos for me. And they might not necessarily be daily. They might be every second day. Um, but it will be the return of like regular videos because I know I've been bad at that uh, lately. Um, I've always said the Marvel will be the return of videos. Actually. Hmm. Just gonna put out a community post real quick. 
A farming feature. Uh, my channel. This is the joy of Spud Pewter, by the way. Home trending subscription. No, my channel, you get. Community tab. Oi, community tab. And in fact, I'm gonna run off for a quick second. I'll be back in like two minutes. That'll teach me not to have two cups of coffee in a bomb by a bad boy before stream. Anyway, back to doing that community post. Do I use Streamlabs OBS? No, I just use normal OBS. I've just, just now, as well as looking over there, uh, put out a community post, community poll, uh, to decide something for Marwell. So if you guys want after the stream, or right now, or whenever the hell you like, uh, head on over to the community tab and vote in the poll I just put up. Uh, to figure out what the hell I want to do with uh, Marwell. Um, because I think it'll be good for any of the four options that I have uh, provided. Welcome back, Nathan. I am fully aware, by the way, that me telling you to do that is going to make chat drop silent for like a few minutes. First on the new vote! <laughs> Sweet, Reggie. Um. Done! Sweet! Thank you, 1174. 
There'll be a few days that'll be open. Um, possibly even until Marwa comes out. Um, I actually know if it's crowdsource wins, then I'll obviously have to do something before Marwa comes out uh, to get the first set of rules in. Gonna go pick up my sis from work. See ya, Twin Cam. Hey, Larry Lap. Long time no see indeed. It's on the community tab. Go to my channel page and then you should see a tab saying community. Um, it's much easier for me to do it there than to do a straw poll, which I could also have done. Um, I, it saved me finding the link. If it's crowdsourced, get the first patch of rules from Discord. Or I could put out another community poll post saying, hey, give me rules. Meta World looks amazing. I've been on it, Sam. It is actually really nice. You finally recovered from Sims Twitch last night. <laughs> With Nightbot. Uh, Irish. That would be the hint that I'm getting, yes. Insanity Challenge has 0%. <laughs> I figured as much after the way that um, the, the Estancia insanity went. Oh, that zooming around hurt your head. Well, and me breaking you with the Nightbot comment after I timed Nightbot out. And then there was the like five minutes where Sim was trying to fix his audio because he'd somehow broken it. I still don't know how I managed that. Uh, I am. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come into this field with the weeder. I was Sim in No Man's Sky. Um, that stream was kind of for my benefit to a certain extent. He wanted to do that, but um, I was there throughout because I I wanted to. Uh, See what No Man's Sky was like. And uh, definitely interesting. Something that I might pick up. No Man's Sky is a good chill game. That's what it struck me as. It struck me as kind of... Um, This might make sense to people who own all of these games, but maybe not. And Sunny Challenge Drives, you're totally, utterly insane and brain dead. Yeah, I'm gonna work on new Insanity rules. There will be an Insanity Challenge again, but it's just kind of... The map's been ready for a while, Irish. This is the thing, the map's been ready for a while. Oxy's been doing um, periodic tweaks, but seemingly he's happy with the tweaks that he's done lately. That might not be in the initial release version of the map, but he'll almost definitely update the map to suit the tweaks. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to... Well, not looking forward to Landy's stream, because I won't be watching it, but I'm looking forward to seeing you, you guys' reactions uh, tomorrow in the, in the stream chat. And hearing from Landy how insane his stream was. Is multi-terrain angle out for 19? Hopefully it passes this time. Fingers crossed. Oxy, I believe, is actually expecting another fail. Um, but Oxy... Yeah, you in my Oh, sweet Oxy. I think you know that I won't be in Landy's stream um, tonight for reasons of... My usual reasons for not being in pre-release streams. Um, which isn't intended as a slight on anybody, but... Just the way that I prefer enjoying things. Uh, look at Facebook chat. We'll do uh, in a minute, Chris. MTA is the greatest thing ever. Multi MTA is multi terrain angle. It makes the seeded and plowed and cultivated textures look just that bit more realistic. Yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, because I've, I've got a poll up now on what, like, what people want to see me do for videos from our world. Um, so that I can at least plan. <laughs> I 
I say plan, I don't know the map at all, so it could get very interesting very quickly if they choose something ridiculous. Um, this is the problem with like, hey, choose a format! It doesn't suit this format at all. Ah, oh, crap! <laughs> Right, uh, what time is it? Someone get multi train working? Seemingly so many corn dog! Oxy has it in Marwell, Nathan's putting it in Metagrove. Everybody's gonna be happy bunnies! Yeah, let's go around this way, why not? I've already made the mistake, so let's commit to the mistake fully. Hey, Michael! What about your map? You never said you had it in your map. <laughs> MJ. Also, you never sent me your map, MJ. <laughs> Steve asked me if I wanted to cover it. I said yes, and I've still <laughs> I've not got the map. I, I know that I said I won't cover it until it's ready. But I'd still like to uh, kind of have a look around. Did I even get a weeder? No collision camera is the great. Ah, there it is. No collision camera is my favorite mod. <laughs> Is there a weeder in this shed? No. Looking through the wall? No. Want a first look? Maybe not a first look, but I definitely will have a look. I I'm, n I'm never going to promise first looks to anybody. Because if it doesn't s grab me immediately, then it just doesn't grab me. But I'd definitely like to have a look at it. You're banned from your Xbox? How did you manage that? Oh, was it down to some parent-teacher meetings? I'm guessing it was down to some parent-teacher meetings. Um, there was nothing really came out today, it was... The... Is this going to destroy the crop? Because if this is going to destroy the crop, then I'm going to have to make it... Oh, but it's not going to destroy the crop. <laughs> Dave actually caring for once. Praise or Hinwa? How much longer is Manor Farm? Marwell, you mean? Uh, Sam, it's all down to like where it is in the queue. And there's a, according to uh, the post on the forum yesterday, 206 mods in that queue. But I'm sure, seeing as Marwell's getting retests, it'll be bumped up just because retests are a bit faster and easier. You hate the weeds. The problem with the weeds isn't that they come too quickly, it's that they all come at once. It'd be nice if they came in kind of clumps. Um, I think Seasons are, are working on that happening, so Seasons is probably going to be a, a solid fixture. Crowdsource Challenge is winning at the moment. I'm not surprised. Lanny's on countdown! Is... Is he? Hang on a second, I'm gonna very quickly just flip open YouTube on my phone, because that strikes me as very early for him to be on countdown. Usually he goes countdown at 5 2. Three minutes. I'm just double checking for my own sake, because I haven't got a notification at all. What the hell is up with my phone? No, I don't want to watch. He said he's going to go a bit earlier. Okay. Could have told me this. That's probably what Facebook was all about. Three minutes till my stream goes dead. Yeah, a million and one questions, Ernie. The downside of doing pre-release content now is you get all of the questions. When's it coming out? Is it coming out tomorrow? Is it coming to console? What? What? Can you show me this? Can you show me that? When's it coming out? <laughs> That's why I'm not on Meadow Grove. 
I love the enthusiasm people have, but it does get irritating getting all of the same questions all the time. You've a copy and paste list out. I, I can imagine Landy just having a full page of the stream deck with the copy and paste answers. In fact, that wouldn't be a bad idea to do for pre-release stuff. Just like, when's it? Bloop. Coming out eventually. Okay. When's it coming? It's in Giants testing. Wait. It's not in Giants testing yet. Wait. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> it's coming to console. Please stop asking. <laughs> He's staring now. Well, I'll let you guys go over to Landy. I think I've covered as much time as I'm able to today, because you guys are all going to evacuate the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button your way out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, stay safe, and goodbye. <laughs>